Let's go over a quick hotel workout you can get done if you're traveling, uh, if tournaments, you're just on the road, out of town on vacation. Um, we're just gonna go over a, a quick dynamic warm up here, or what you can kind of substitute for a dynamic warm up if you don't have room to, you know, kind of go through a full full warm up that way. Um, just going through a a sissy squat uh, progression here, going from more I guess true variation sissy squats to more than uh, just a, a supported deep squat. Um, focusing knee dominant here, just trying to warm up the knee joint itself. Um, excessive uh, dorsiflexion through the ankles um, and just getting the kind of the feet to move around. It is kind of better to do it um, to barefoot instead of shoes, um, but I just kept my shoes on for this one. So I'm um, going through full range of motion, um, a lot of reps in a short period of time, just to really get the blood flowing, uh, get the knees used to a deeper range of motion. Um, and then from there, we'll look to open up the hips and we'll go over this kind of uh, landmine sway without the landmine. So just getting the feet a little bit spread apart here, um, trying to keep the butt as low as possible, shifting weight from side to side, pretty much like pushing your uh, weight over to the other side, um, trying to stay in that deep range of motion as possible. And then we'll go into a, a Cossack squat here, um, really focusing on as deep a range of motion as you can. Um, obviously, I still got some work to do, I'm trying to get the butt down to the heels, but again, really open up the hips, get the adductors firing a little bit. Um, and again, open up the hips as much as possible. And then from there, um, kind of a, a two for one here. So having my feet off of the uh, platform here. Um, now for this one, it's, it's kind of tricky because you got to make sure that you're really stable in what you're doing. Um, but like I said, it's a two for one here because you're getting explosive uh, squat patterning here um, and also some strength and uh, plasticity through the Achilles tendon that we can get through various isometrics. Um, and then from there, um, so working on my adductors here, you can, you can do this with a, a bench if you want, if you don't have an adductor machine, um, but working on kind of a drop and catch here. So a, a fast eccentric to try to uh, stick as much as possible, um, really force uh, resiliency through the adductors, which are one of the more injury prone muscles um, in athletes. From there, we'll move to something a hinge dominant exercise. So um, these are cable pull throughs, and I'm doing them in a drop and catch manner. Um, think of it kind of like a kettlebell swing without the actual full swing up. Big fan of those. Um, and then to finish up here, I'm working on some soleus calf raises here again. Uh, been talking a lot about soleus raises as they are the soleus muscle is pound for pound strongest in the body and a big precursor to sprint performance. Um, and then kind of just messing around here, um, I've learned or kind of figured out in my training, just kind of make it random, keep it fresh, um, and test yourself in dis different ways. It doesn't necessarily be 100% uh, structured all the time. So going from isometrics to single leg isometrics, kind of bouncing back and forth, um, and finish it up with some uh, ballistic pops here. Um, and then from there to finish up the workout, um, just finish up with some cable tricep extensions. Um, as far as true performance, um, not really a whole lot, but uh, no one's ever really complained about having two, two pumped up of triceps. And if you look good in a uniform, uh, you know, the old saying, look good, play good. So um, just a quick hotel workout if you're traveling for a tournament or on the road for vacation.